Roots back in Mon Bazou. Bonjour, mon ami. Comment ça va? Ça va bien. Oh, come on, fatil on a real, on a real. Kadon, fatil on a real. Okay, so we are in the Merple Serp Shack, draining more of the Serp. Um, I'm hoping. <clears throat> what am I doing today? I have no idea, honestly. I'm a little, uh, little out of it today. <laughs> I haven't got much sleep. And I'm, uh, I'm gonna pick this up. What, what does this happen here? What happened? Oh, no. So what I think I'm gonna do hmm, is, uh, okay, let's check our friendships for a sec. We are very close to having a friendship with Normand. <laughs> like, so we gotta go increase our friendship with Norman. Now, I think the only way to really do that is to stop by the house. Um, And this is just about done for the day. What time is it? Pajama time. Okay, let's get in the car. We're gonna go stop by and see Norman for a sec. And talk to him and see if we can't uh, get him to be our friend a little more. But I think we're gonna need a little bit of oregano to pull that off. But I'm not sure if he's, like, it's almost, it's almost four o'clock. So I'm not sure if, they're there, if he's there past four. But I guess we're gonna find out the hard way <laughs> by going into town. If not, we'll do it tomorrow, but Let's see here. Okay, stop for a second, please. No, you know what? We're just going to go for it. Because we're going to run out of time otherwise. Let's see if we just talk to him and get him to be friendly with us. And then go from there because it's we're going to run out of time. Uh, honestly, how are you guys doing, by the way? I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing great. Um, I, I feel, at least I feel like I'm doing great. Okay, excuse me, yellow car. I got I to gotta come through here. It's it's just, it's it's priority priority messaging. That, that's a ditch. We're doing it again. We're flipping off the road again. Oh, okay. No, we didn't that time. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Got to remember, you can't come into a corner at 80 miles an hour and expect me to turn on a gravel road. All right. <laughs> this is just this is the way I go. It's how I roll. Literally, I roll the truck that way. A lot. Often. Notice how we got the only square body Chev in all town. And meanwhile, like, every second farmer had a square body Chev. I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Perfect. Let's let's speed this up. We gotta go talk to that dude. I think it's time we start buying car parts, though. I think we're very close to being able to buy uh, a lot of car parts. Uh, I really want to buy the trailer, but I feel like it's gonna cause me problems if I buy that. What kind of what's my fuel level at? Eh, that's pretty good. Okay, let's see here. Let's stop here. All right, let's hop out and talk to Norman. Let's see if he'll be my friend yet. Excuse me. Oh, it's up until 5.30. Okay, awesome news. I just got the price back. But be prepared because you... $70,000? Wow, okay. Um, dude, you need to stop talking. Seriously, you need seventy grand? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Blah, blah. Okay, we need, we need a new color... For the car and i'm not sure what color i want to go with people suggested red people suggested green i think the most suggested color is always black and because people love black but i think i'm going to go with the, a dark 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 red and i think 30 dollars is can of paint are you kidding me and i'm gonna buy i'm gonna buy two of those and i'm gonna throw one outside the window in case the place closes up while i'm in here okay get to that Okay, there we go. I gotta take the spray paint with me. Um, you guys do your thing. You guys do your jam. Okay, and we're gonna go paint the car. Now that we gotta pay seventy thousand dollars, like, I don't know what the deal this game is in big purchases, but jeez, like there's like so many big purchases. My purple circle's falling out. No. Okay, here we go. So I guess we're gonna head back to the house. Um. Oh, okay. There we go. Perfect. Oh, oh, don't, don't, don't hit that. Okay, this is out of control right now. Ah! Okay, look, buddy. We're going to paint the car a deep, deep red color and see what we think. And if we don't like it, you guys can tell me what color we should paint. And put your paint code selections in, in the comments and we'll, we'll paint it that color. Whoever gets the most, um, the most play on it, I guess. Whatever. You know, whoever gets the most uh, comments on a certain color, we'll, we'll go to that color and pick a hue. If you have an exact number, 
Throw it in the throw it in the comments. So I did this once before and I ignored everything completely and painted it blue. <laughs> this time I promised not to ignore it completely and just painted it blue. Now I really wanted to paint it grabber blue, but the truck's already blue. So I just like grabber blue as a color. It's a great color. Um if you don't know what grabber blue is, go look it up. It's an old Ford muscle car color and it's great. It's not my favorite color. I don't really have a favorite color. One of my favorites is an old Ford color. I, I don't know. I always like Ford colors. They always had some interesting metallic paints back in the day. Uh, although, you know, I got to say Dodge really takes the cake when it comes to paint colors. And old uh, old British colors are kind of fun, like British racing green and all those kind of things. Whoa, there was a truck right there. So now we own the cabin. We own the boat. We... We basically own everything at this point, I think. And I think our Merple Serple is just about ready. So we can do that tonight as well. But first, we're going to paint the car. Because, close door, please. Thank you. D dude, there we go. Okay. Because I'm going to be just probably close to the same color as the car that's in there. The um, the race car that's in here. What do they call it? The bullet? Yeah, and we're going to remove that exhaust, too. Just so everybody knows. Um... This is like brown. Oh my God, we're painting it brown. How is how is this like brown? Wow, that is an ugly friggin' color, bud. Why can't I paint the... I can't see to paint the trunk lid? This is, this is like basically poop brown. This is every 90s color of red. We're going to definitely change the color next episode. Again. Because that's, that's just how I roll. There we go. I can get the trunk from here. Wow. I thought that was going to be more red than this. This is definitely not the color I want to keep on my car. This is going to be a process of going. This is like, like diarrhea brown. Like how the heck did this happen? How did this go from being red on the chart to poop brown i don't i don't understand what happened this is not you know at least it's a uniform one color now though whoops wait a minute did we run out of paint we did well this isn't good okay we're gonna throw this away this is no no problem bud okay painting cars when it's raining outside you know it's always good to have high humidity when you're painting <laughs> is, this, is this fender what i was working on no that was this door right what was it the roof there we go. So this is good. Okay, here we go. You can just watch the numbers in the corner when they stop moving. You know you hit fully the color you're looking for. There we go. Okay, so this might be the ugliest color I have ever seen on a car. Um, I love it. All right, so let's put this down for a second. Oh, my God. Okay, so we're going to put this back on because that other thing is horrific, and I hate it. And everybody else hates it. And I'm going to remove the, um, what do they call those things? The eyelashes before this episode's over, I promise. Now, we're going to get on our little slidey around me here. Okay, this is good. We left the door open to the truck, which probably means the interior is getting so. Why does that door feel dull and the rest of the car feels not dull? Is it because I <sighs> clear coated everything else except that door? Is that is that what happened? Did I forget a door when I was clear coating? Let me see here. Let's take off this, uh, okay, there we go. Let's, oh, how do we, where's the other, where's the other bolt? There it is. All right, let's get up. Okay, let's put this back. We'll bring this over here. We're going to bring this down here. We're going to take this off. This is horrific, and I hate it so much. Okay, <laughs> let's put this back on. There we go, and then we'll get back down here. Oh, we got to get the thing. Crap. Can I reach it? Give it, give it here, bud. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice. Okay. So we're going to pick up this. Ugh. I'm glad, I'm glad, uh, there we go. Santa Goat is getting a lot of, like, notice, like, notice for this game. Maybe I should paint it hot pink, like Love Cowboy Pink, or hot red, like Love Cowboy Sunglasses Red. Oh, let's see here. Okay, so we're getting into the late part of the, we've got to close this door. We're going to just soak the interior of this truck. And no, I will not paint the interior of my truck. Stop trying to make me. I, I hate, I like the interior color. It's a nice, lovely tan. What, what is wrong with this? I don't understand why you guys hate tan so much. Yeah, it's a little boring, but it's not like, it's not offensive or anything. 
I think we got. Is this? Uh, oh, this is one hundred percent. This is one hundred percent oregano right now. Okay, let's uh, let's plant. So let's go pick up the oregano. Okay, where's my oregano basket? There it is. We're gonna grab this oregano off the field here. Um, it's just something we got to do. Hopefully, before it gets too dark, because I want to be able to replant the oregano. And we're gonna have, end up having more seeds, which we shouldn't have any seeds. If you, if you grew this right, you shouldn't have any seeds. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say why I know. I'm just saying you shouldn't have any seeds if you grow it right. Um, oh, look at this is the other spoiler I threw outside. Remember that spoiler? It's terrible. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do this. All right, sit down here. Let's uh, do this. Can we just like, how many? I can't remember how many we get out of this, like six or something? There we go. Okay. Is that it? All right. Oh, no, we got more. Okay. We get quite a few. All right, here we go. Let me up. Excuse me for a second. I got I to gotta go get this stuff. Might wait till morning to replay it because it is so dark right now. And it's a little a little bit scary out here. <laughs> Going to get hit by a Sam Squanch or something. <sighs> Are you kidding me that there's one left? Oh, my God. Uh, okay, well, you know, you know how it is. Also, we got to find our shovel and it's dark, and I'm not sure where the shovel is when it's dark. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's do this. There we go, perfect. We should be able to get one more of these things harvested, and then we should be okay. All right, excellent. Let me up, please. I got to get up, please. What do we got in here? 9%. Okay. So it appears that it kind of gives you not a random amount, but... Oh, no. See what I mean? You can't see anything, and you don't know where you are. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, let's get this up. Okay. Let's replant. I was going to wait till morning, but I think I'll just do this now and get it out of the way. And then I'm going to have a few extra seeds, so then we'll dig more uh, furrows. What is this? This is not a furrow. What is this, like a mound? How many do I got here? Let me see. Let me see. 11? I got 11 left? Holy crap. Okay. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, five. Oh no. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. <laughs> it's it's kind of going around a corner, but that's cute. All right, let's grab where to go. Where'd I leave it? I thought I left it on the ground over here. Oh, there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now they're gonna need water, obviously. Um, and we got the little bit of that. So we'll bring this up to the house, we'll grab the watering can, we'll water that, and then we can kind of like expand outwards. For, I don't know how it's going to work. Honestly, I don't know how my potatoes are. Oh, potatoes are doing potatoing. Okay, potatoes are potatoing. Ugh, that's what I think about when I see uh, children nowadays. Oh, look at the look at those kids, they're potatoing. <laughs> fools, I say, fools! Now we could bark our boat over here. That is an option. We do have a dock, uh, or a pier, or whatever you want to call it. We have one. Is that everything in there on the side? Okay, that's good. Okay, cool. This is gonna be a large field by the time I'm done with it. Um It's 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 not like the potatoes where I can't collect enough. Let's see here. Oh my god. Um let's see. You know, what are we oh yeah, we gotta package this up into larger packages. All right, excellent. Okay. We got large larger packages. Where are we putting where are we putting it these days? Oh, yeah, under here. Crap. We definitely need to find a spot for all this. Could we can we put it on the upper shelf? Is that even a real shelf, or is that just a pretend shelf? Who knows? Um, Where are we going to put this? I don't know where to stack this. I guess we're putting it along here on the wall. Okay, we're going to move it over here, because we have a lot of it. And, well, way more than any human being needs. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, this one's definitely not stacked correctly. All right, there we go. 
We're going to pile it until you can see it under the window. At which point, we're going to stop piling it there. So if the cops ever drive by, we don't get in trouble. You're only allowed to own so much oregano in Canada. So <laughs> there's, there's a limit uh, to how much. I'm going to try to line up these labels. Somewhat. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Perfect. Okay. I drop you like this. Dry, and that, that other one's going to be just for our personal use. All right, in case we run out again. Okay, there we go. Can we just pick it up now? There we go. Excellent. So that's all taken care of. Where's the where's the tisket to task it? Oh, did I leave it outside? Ah, crud. Let me see. Did I, basket, did I leave you out here somewhere? Oh, this is not where I need to be. Well, the basket is somewhere. I don't remember where I put the basket. Did I bring it back with me? I must have brought it back with me. Jeez, this is what happens when you leave me alone with the with the uh, with the oregano. <laughs> this is this is what happens every time I lose things. Oh, there it is. That's is that or is that the potato basket? Nope, that's the oregano basket. There we go. Let's bring this in here. I want to go check on check on Merple Serpal production once we get this under control. Okay, we got it. There we go. So this can just wait here. We have one extra one just in case we need it. Let's um. Someone was trying to tell me you need the ATV to go back and forth. I disagree. 100% <laughs> disagree with that. Um, why are these needing stuff right now? Oh, because it's after midnight. Oh, my God. This is so many potatoes. Okay, here we go. That means this whole entire crop over here is going to need it too, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Here we go again. On my own. Okay. Now, does that mean everything needs to be watered? Because I just watered those other ones. So I'm trying to use as little water as possible. Oh, I ran out. Crap. Oh, yeah, here we go. Can we just fill it down, down here at the dock? Because this would be much easier. I don't like being out this late because of Sam squanches and whatnot. So... We're going to water this. Where's the... Where is it? There it is. Is this it? Oh, okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, so this is better. All right, so we got that all figured out. Let's sleep, actually. Oh, geez, we're really low on on the syrup. Um, you know what? We got one in the truck. We can just worry about that tomorrow morning. Let's sleep. Wake up tomorrow morning. Pick a new shirt. See what's up. See what's going on. Ah, better. Okay, wake up, buddy. Don't sleep too late. We got things we got to do today. It's a sunny day. Sunny day real estate. Let's get up. Okay, now let's pick a shirt color. Let's pick, you know what? I think it's a pink day. I think it's a pink day. All right. So we got, we got a bathtub full of poutine. Love in our hearts. Uh, we are the love cowboy after all. Okay, put this here like this. We're going to go down to the truck. What day is it? Thursday? Well, we don't really worry about Merple Serple production too much. Uh... Just as long as we deliver what we have tomorrow. That's kind of an important thing. Because we need to pick up our, our barrels we used. But uh, we do need several more barrels, I believe. So we can get through the weekend. Because we're producing an awful lot of Merple Serpal right now. This should be running fine. Yep, there it goes. And we should be boiling some of the Merple Serp right now. Oh, excellent. Here we go. I'm going to drink some of that. You know what? We should probably actually, you know, just looking at this, we should probably bring this down. Because we're going to run out of barrels at some point. How much is in there? 124. Well, let's just fill this up. And then we will head on down with what we got here. So let's go grab the truck and bring it over while that's filling up. And then we are good to go. Okay, I should have brought the truck over to begin with, but that's cute. And then we'll bring those five down because that's a grand. You know, that's not so bad. And then when we have that $1,000, we can buy a new, uh, a new barrel from Irk. And then we should be pretty good to go, I have to imagine. Um, of course, we're going to be 70 grand to get a racetrack up and run. I don't know where we're going to heck we're going to get 70 freaking grand from, but it's definitely something we got to try to do, I guess. <laughs> I might have to play this on my own. I usually try to avoid playing this on my own because people want to see like the whole thing. But at this point, I'm thinking I may have to, to race 70 grand. Like I only get like 15 grand every time the weekend hits, which is, which is enough to get us there for sure. Like only take a couple of weeks to get there for sure, but like, you know, four or five weeks, but that's still 70 grand and four or five weeks of time is no small amount of time. 
Okay, let's see here. Is this, is this done being full? No, not quite, but it's getting there. And then we'll throw another barrel under just so we have some breathing room. And you're done. Okay, excellent. You can go in there, and then we'll put this one in there. All right, excellent. Here we go. No, it'd be nice, like I said, if you could build pallets and then get like a like a forklift and then lift them up, like a small forklift, one of those like standing ones, and lift them into your truck Ugh. or your trailer or whatever you're using to transport Merple Serple these days. Merple Serple transportation business is, is a big deal in Canada. Ugh. It's ran by a mafia, actually, like our bread was. And that's not even a joke, by the way. There was a, basically a bread mafia in Canada. That's how weird this country is sometimes. Okay. Go look it up. I'm not making it up. They're fixing the price of bread. Like, who does that? Oh, you know what I should do? Can I just turn off the light in here? Without killing the power? Yeah, we're good. All right, excellent. There's no point in leaving this power on. Oh, yeah, we should probably check for the power bill while we're in town. Don't want to do that. We probably should check the power while we're in town. Like, the... the uh, what do they call that thing? The bill for the power? You know? The, the, the little letter that shows up tells you got to pay your bill. I don't know. Mine's all automatic nowadays. <laughs> okay. Can I go this way or is this going to be a problem? Are you going to be coming along or here or are we going to be all right? All right. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We definitely don't want to. Somebody, uh, keep, people keep telling me I should put posts at the end of the drive. About 25 people have told me that right here so I know where to turn. They're probably right. But it, leads, it lends itself to some hilarity when I drive off the road and get the truck stuck. So, I don't know. And also, people want me to drive the uh, the dune buggy thing more. Um, and I probably will at some point. But right now, it doesn't help me in any way. Because like, it, it, do, it can't transport Merple Serple. It can't carry car parts. Unless they're real small ones. And, you know. Okay, I got to get around you, bud. Just give me a little space, all right? You and your, your GMC. Jimmy, or whatever that is. All right, here we go. Blazer. All right, here we go. Now, with the Merple Serpent production now really in full swing, like we're really nailing that down, it's about time we start thinking about a new tank, I think, uh, and more trees to really, really make a send-off for this. But we're also going to need a, a crap ton more barrels and a trailer if we plan on doing that because we're just going to back up the Merple Serpent production like nobody's business like right now, we're barely keeping ahead of it most days. So we got to be on the ball for that. And I want this guy to come back so I can buy parts from him when he parks in the church parking lot. Because now we're going to upgrade the car as well. Because if we're going to open up a racetrack at some point, we're going to want a, an upgraded race car, right? And then maybe we can get out of the maple syrup production and uh, start full-time racing, making money that way. Excellent. Okay. To, to the maple syrup shop we go. Perfect. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Let me in, bud. What gear are we at? Fourth. All right, here we go. How many empties do we have sitting here? Probably a few. Oh, yeah. We got a few. Okay, here we go. In the Wichita line, man. Okay, here we go. Ugh. And the Canadian Merple Serpo guy. Is still on the line. Okay. I'm going to put this in here. We've got all these empties, man. This should this should help us get through the weekend a little bit. Especially if I'm going to buy another barrel, like, right now. There we go. And this can go... Oh, oh no, don't do that. Perfect. And then we're going to go talk to Irk and see what he says right now. Okay. Irk, what's up, buddy? I'm coming. What are you saying, bud? I'm going to buy this barrel from you. Thank you. Um, you look good. Uh, have you lost weight? You look like you may have lost a bit of weight. Yeah, well, you're just saying. You know, you look you look slender, slim. We like it. We like you this way. Um, I could buy more cans, I guess, to can up some more maple syrup. Okay, let's just do that. Oops. There we go. Gonna buy all your cans, bud. And I'm gonna buy all your lids as well. Okay, no, I don't want your stupid table. I already got that. All right. What I want is another reservoir, an inside reservoir, but they don't sell that. And that's, uh, 
that's a sad day. We're just waiting. We're, we're going to do some more trees. But we have to wait for them to grow, uh, kind of grow up. We planted them last episode or the episode before, and they're going to take a couple weeks to grow up. But that's all right. Then we'll tap those like your mom, and then we will should be all right. All right, let's 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 do this. Let's get back to whatever graces. Oh, yeah, we got to stop and check our power bill. This is becoming work. I just want to point that out to anybody who watches. This has suddenly gone from being a video game to work. I just do work. I transport Merple Circle. I pick up supplies for Merple Circle. I live, eat, breathe Merple Circle and oregano. At this point, that's all I do. And it's a, li it's a little upsetting. I got to tell you, just a little bit. Just a little upsetting. Like, we can keep winning races here in town, but we don't really need to at this point. We've won all the prizes that they have. Now, I can see Mr. Bonjou over there, and we're not going to mess with Mr. Bonjou because... Because you know what happened last time we messed with that guy. Okay, we haven't checked this in a while, so let's just double check. Oh, we got a letter. Oh, what is this? Performance parts? Whoa. Every Friday and Sunday. So he's there tomorrow. Okay. Excellent. What's up, Mr. Bonjou? You want to talk about how you stole my crap, you jerk? Huh? Excuse me. Mr. Bonjou, you're pushing me now. What? Well, that was the easy way to get around, I guess. Stop it. Where's your face? What's your face for? You jerk. Ugh. Okay, yeah, it's noon. I get it. So tomorrow we can come at least buy car parts anyway. Which is lovely. Let's go take these home. We'll drop them off. Uh, I still think I should walk back here and then take the boat back to my house. Because the boat's a really awesome way to get back to town if we ever need to. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Could be. Who knows? <laughs> no, no one knows. We gotta slow down here. Okay, slow down, slow down. By the way, and I want you all to go check it out, there is a young lady by the name of Ellie, and she's rebuilding an old Ford Falcon, and she has a whole YouTube channel called Ellie's Garage. She's like 16 years old, and she's kind of funny. She's super nervous all the time. Um, and I think, you know, she's got a very small YouTube channel, but you should go check her out. Like, it's, it's awesome to see uh, younger people wanting to know something about cars, and I think that is... You know, leaves us, you know, us all the old guys that do it. Um, we still got all our barrels. Um, you know, it's nice to see younger people take an interest. And I think that uh, you don't see a lot of that anymore. And so, yeah, if you get a chance to go check her out, it's called Ellie's Garage. It's it's funny. Like, they're, like, it's all the trials and tribulations. Of, it has a straight sex in it. She's rebuilding that. She's, like, just got the car painted recently. We're going to last two years or so. But uh, it's kind of a cool watch to watch this car come up from people, and her and her father know nothing about it. So they're trying to figure it out as they go, and they're learning as they go. So that's kind of cool, and I think it was kind of neat. All right, let's just drop these barrels off. Yeah, not trying to plug her channel. I don't know her or anything. I just thought it was, it's always nice to send the community off to support somebody. All right, let's see here. Uh, if you guys have time and don't feel obligated like I'm not that guy that's trying to like you know force people into doing something they don't want to do but if you want to check it out it's kind of cool to see like I said not enough young people are into it and I understand that there's more important things in the world to be into than cars nowadays but you know as somebody who loves cars it's always nice to see anybody get interested in cars yeah, but she's very very high strung about it and I love it she gets, she gets very concerned with every little thing they're doing all right, anxiety runs deep with that child. All right, let's see. Oh, ooh, we're good. We're good here. Oh, excellent. Here we go. Look at this. Now we got so many barrels. This should probably get us. Well, we'll probably have to do a couple for tomorrow, but this will this will work out lovely for the weekend. Drop some off tomorrow. Pick up the empties tomorrow. So that's the key. You got to pick up all your empties on Friday, so you have empties for the weekend. We're running out of space here. You have to either reorganize or stack, I think. You can stack these actually fairly easily because I did it before. And it wasn't causing a problem. Ugh. Oh, yeah, wiggle yourself in there. Did you see that? That was funny. Okay, here we go. Look at this. You can totally stack these things great. Because what's cool about this is you can use them as a stairway if you want to get to the roof um, of the house. And on we go. There we go. How are you doing, bud? Oh, you're at 100%. Let's have a little maple syrup, great. We'll set you aside. This is just about done for the day. It's only got a couple hours left. We'll get this. How much is in there? 
No, 104. So we're just about at another barrel. There we go. That'll cover that up, and we're good for here for now. Um, this is excellent. And tomorrow the car parts guy's there. So let's go down and get some car parts tomorrow. And uh you know, pick up our empties and all that crap. Because, oh, wait a minute. We have a whole bunch of crap in here we need to get inside the... Oh, God, I forgot. <sighs> we have canning stuff. This is what happens. This is this is exactly what happens. All right, here we go. Scapegoat, you're a fool. Get in there. Canning stuff. I don't need the secondary tray, but now we have it. So now we got to use it. And now we're going to bring all this in. Let's just, oh, the door's caught on me. I do like this system of doors better than... Buy summer car in my garage where you bump into it and it closes on <laughs> you. Yeah, put these can lids in here. Can we just take these out? Oh, I can. Oh, this is... Oh, okay, this is good. We can have an empty one and a full one. Actually, this works out. And yes, quit trying to convince me to use the spray. I know it causes rust. I'm not dumb. So stop it. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that stupid guy. Oh, you're just about full. 96. And... 100%. Excellent. Some days seem to produce more syrup than others. It just, I guess it's kind of like real life like that, right? Because this is done at what? 1400s too, so two, two hours and a bit. Let's, um, let's make up the whole case of maple syrup. There we go. We got lots of lids now. And that's good, because... Now we have our own maple syrup. I'm still buying it, though. Every time I'm in town, if I need it, I just buy it anyway. So I don't, I don't know why I bothered getting this, but people were really on my case about it. They are all like, dude, why don't you have that? You need that. It's like, because I still haven't paid it off. I just drank it. This is no good. Oh, what a waste of a can of maple syrup. You don't save any money by buying this, uh, unless you're drinking so much maple syrup. Like... Like, like I said, you need 350 roughly to break even. I'm at 171. Ugh, yeah, there we go. There's another one. Oh, good. Excellent. We're going to only have one left over. And there's that. i take this and put this in here. And then I, people ask me if I can sell this. I don't think you can. If you can, please tell me where I can sell the canned maple syrup. You'd be nice. It'll be really cool, actually. If you could sell it to the uh, the gas station, because they sell maple syrup there that you can buy. So if you sell it to the gas station for like, you know, eight bucks a thing or whatever, seven bucks a thing. Well, you probably sell it here for like five because he's got to make a profit, but you know what I mean. Whoop, it's two in the afternoon. Oh, yeah, no wonder it looks dark in here because I had the lights off. That's right. This I don't have any use for anymore, but we're going to keep it just in case. Um, Let's take the truck back over to the house. And off we are with the parking brake, and up we go, and over. Ugh. Yeah, people keep saying I was in four-wheel drive. I'm not. I'm in two. Look at this. See? Two. H. It, it, it doesn't stay in four-wheel drive. Um, when you exit the game and come back, it puts the vehicle back in neutral and the uh, that shifter back in two-wheel drive. I don't run in four-wheel drive very often because I don't need it. Oh, my God. Look <laughs> My field's all over the place. Okay, you know what I'm going to do, because you know someone's going to get on my case about this. If I leave this spoiler over here, people are going to get mad at me. So we're going to bring it in here. God, that's an awful color. Man. Like, I'm very disappointed with the way that color turned out, i got to tell you. So there we go. Now we have that. Uh, but yeah, I want to see that dude tomorrow. I wonder if we can just sleep till tomorrow, maybe. No, we haven't used up that much energy yet, but by the time we sleep, it's not going to be skip the night type of late. Oh, you know what we can do? Let's just go play video games. Now, there's actually one question I did have. Can I? No, I can't take the tires off the truck. Right? Yeah, you can't take the tires off the truck. It'd be kind of cool to swap out the rims maybe, but you can't. So what are we going to get for this is the question. Um, I don't know. I don't I don't honestly know what I'm going to get. We have more scrap metal, though, we can always take back. Uh but yeah, we're going to buy some parts. So let's go play video games for a bit. Then we'll sleep. Then we'll get up. And then we'll go see that guy. Oh, yeah. I got to sit down and play video games. Uh, and then let's see how we're going to do this. Run down, get the maple syrup, bring it down. Uh, let me see. So if we grab the maple syrup, we throw it in the truck, right? And then we go 
to bed. Well, it's only 6 o'clock right now. So let's go load up the maple syrup for the day and then get it ready to go. Let's get the lights on here. There we go. And then ignition. And then this. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Well, okay. This is out of control. Okay, here we go. So we're going to go down here. We're going to find the... I think this is the entrance right here. God, you better be the entrance. Uh, not quite, but it'll do. <laughs> All right. All right, whatever you say, bud. All right, here we go. We're going to come down here. We're going to grab the maple syrup that's ready to go. And then have it in the truck for tomorrow. Head on down, sell it off, get our empties, maybe buy some car parts, and maybe we can end the episode at some point there because I don't want to bore anybody with just maple syrup production. Okay, let's just park and break that. There we go. Oh, yeah, this is this is real dark. Are you out of... Holy crap, you're full. But you're empty. So that means it ran out of syrup at exactly the right moment. Okay, excellent. There we go. Fill this up. It should be filling faster because it's later at night. We're not going to be able to fill everything up, obviously, because we only have... We, we're, we're short just slightly a little bit. Probably because we filled so many things of maple syrup up. But we'll throw these in the truck. Um, drive these back up to the house. There's only three, but that's fine. We're going to put this up here and here and like this. And... Well, that is 100%. Nice. Okay. Perfect. You go in here, and then we're going to put one more barrel in. Now, here's the problem. This barrel is going to be like 96% full. Which is lame. Yeah. So, 96 liters, I guess, not 96%. But yeah, we'll leave that here for the night. Um, we'll get back in the truck. We'll drive this back to the house. We'll go have a nap. We'll sleep. Sleep till morning. Uh, and, and do, what we, do what you gotta do. We're gonna have to make this work out somehow. All right, here we go. And then we'll pick up our empties, which we have, we'll have several of down there. Uh, and the beauty is we're only getting rid of three. Okay, we still got all our barrels? Yeah, okay. And it's Friday, so we can, like I said, we can drop off the three, pick up the empties, go look at the dude for some car parts, and come install some car parts. Like, how cool is that? And off with the lights, and off with the truck, and do this. Now, we can play video games again. But I think we can get through at least, it's got to be past midnight, right? Skip till morning kind of time? Because we don't want to be awake right now. Let's see here. Okay. Ah, skip the night. There we go. We'll select a shirt. We'll get up. We'll uh, water the plants if necessary. I okay, guess. So what shirt do we want today? Is there a light in here? Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Um, Is it an orange day? I think it's a yellow day. I don't think I've ever worn yellow. Let's do that. All right. Let's get out there. We need a little... uh. A little poutine. That's good. All right. A little fridge poutine. Poutine's gross if you put it in the fridge, by the way. Uh, I never reheat it in the microwave. The french fries get soggy. This is just facts. Straight up facts. I'm just spitting facts here. You, you don't wear your heat your micro you don't microwave your poutine. That is against all the laws in Canada. I'm pretty sure if you do that and you get caught, there's jail time. I'm like 100% sure of that. Well, like at least 10% sure of that. Now, put this in here like this. Fill this back up. I think we have to do multiple trips at this point because we have so much oregano at this point that it really is hard to get all of it with one watering system. They should sell sprinklers like uh, Stardew Valley. <laughs> Just every morning, the sprinklers come on. Okay, here we go. Perfect. There we go. Excellent. So that's that. We can head into town. Marble Serpa place opens soon. Uh, the car parts guy, I think he's there soon. But let's head on into town. Let's go see what's up. There we go. Now, I'm just not sure what I want just yet. Like, we could skip right over the performance intake. I think at this point, like, and go right for the turbo manifold. Well, no, we need the performance intake, and then, well... 
Let's see what he's got. I'm not entirely sure what he has, to be honest, at this point. Like, we're going to need the turbo exhaust manifold, obviously. Uh, for the turbo. So, that's so why I hate turbos. All the plumbing. Jeez. Just give me a nice root style supercharger, like a root style supercharger. No, granted, it's easier to fit a turbo in an engine bay than a supercharger. 100%. I, I agree with that. Um, but the costs are close to the same for, an, for a kit, and you might make a little more power with the turbo, but, man, all the plumbing. All the plumbing. And then you need, like, intercoolers and all that if you really want to be efficient with it. Like, it's just a butt. The whole thing's a butt. Excuse me. I'm coming through here. I got a I got, um, emergency purple circle situation. Stop speeding up. Whoa! The beige mobile just about got me, you fools. But we'll drop this off. This will give us an additional $600. So that gives us close to eight grand. We can blow on car parts at the moment. Oh, he's there. Okay, we'll be back, bud. Don't you worry. We're going to come buy some parts from you. I don't know why he shows up. I don't know who he is, if that stuff's stolen or what, but we're gonna, we're just not going to ask any questions. Like, I don't believe in buying stolen parts. If I even think, if, like, if I'm buying real car parts and I even get, a, like, a, just a little, oh, God, this smells off this deal, I will not take it. I'm not buying some, I'm not buying stolen stuff. I've had stuff stolen, and I know about it makes me feel. I don't want to own somebody else's stolen crap. If I get a whiff of it, you know, it's like, oh, yep, smells stolen. I'm not, I will not purchase it. I've, I've actually canceled buying stuff a few times because... I didn't trust the seller. Your tires don't spin, bud. You're just going to go... Whoop, see you around. Okay. All right, let's just pull off on here. All right, perfect. Ugh. And we got a whole bunch of these here, but this is... Oh, there we go. Getting paid. Getting paid on Sundays. There we go. Now, I was going to buy another one, but I think we'll save money for car parts. And we will... Uh, Grab this up here. Snatch this up. All right. Oh, dude, come on. Dude, there we go. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Put this in here, and then we'll jump back in. Oh, we should go say hi to Eric. Is Eric, is Eric here? Hey, Eric, what's going on, bud? Nice to see you, buddy. I want to build my friendship with you in case there's ever a reason to have you as a friend. Now, we can't spend too long here, because from the looks of the... Oh, yes, we, oh, wait a minute. We, have, we have that maple syrup. We're good. We're fine. Let's get out of here. And we just want to get up here without causing any too much tippage. Just a tip. Oh, oh, just a tip. We're good. All right, here we go. So how many we got? We got five. So if we have less than five, we know. We've lost something. Excellent. Here we go. Let's get down to the, the car guy. We got all day to do this. So oh, this is going to be a good day. This is going to be a good day. I love the fact that I can get fuel now whenever I feel like it, too. That is that is great. No more rushing down on a Friday to make sure I have enough fuel to get through the weekend. Dude, are you, just don't fall out. Yeah, we still got five. We're fine. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, excellent. Okay, we're, well, you know what? We're going to cross here because why not? Well, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I think we lost one. Well, I think one went overboard. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, here we go. Turn you off. I think we lost one. We lo we definitely lost one. There it is. It's just laying here in the open. <laughs> Boy, that was a lot bigger divot in the ground than I thought. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Got to remember that. They don't like you cutting corners in this game, I can tell you. Can I buy this store, please, and turn it into Canadian Tire? I would love that. All right. Or uh, St. Hubert Chicken. Uh, that would be cool. Okay, so what do we want? Look at this. This is the like the full... This is the full deal here. Look at this. Look at that. There's the turbo intake, the turbo kit. I think we have that. So let's, uh, how much is that? Okay. So there's the, the turbo kit, right? And then we got <laughs> the turbo intake, right? And now we're going to buy the intercooler right here, right? Here we go. And then, uh. We still, we still have money left. Like, surprisingly have money left. Ugh. Now, did we buy the race sway bars? I can't remember if we just bought the one. I can't remember if we bought the ones at the store or not. We bought these recently and this. Right? Didn't we buy these? Uh, we could get adjustable coilovers, which I totally agree with. I think that the, uh, oh, this is what I really want. 
The limited slip diff. Yeah, we're going to grab that too. All right, so that leaves us with two grand to spend. Now, I can spend them on more car parts, but at the moment, hey, bud, what's going on? Um, there's a nitrous mount. Ooh, people said I should get fancy. There is no... Uh, there's no rhyme or reason which ones show up, but we will get some decent 40 millimeter bolts to to get rid of the rusty uh, steering wheel bolt. Cause somebody's been on my case about that constantly <laughs> for a while. What's up, Roger? Let's build, let's become friends. Oh, we should probably, oh, carbon fiber hood would be nice. I like carbon fiber because it lowers the weight, which is exactly what most, what's this is? Oh, this is just, oh, you know, we might need a boost gauge too, possibly. Oh, those are paintable. What's this? Speed gauge. Uh, we could get these too. Okay, so let's let's wait on this on this stuff. Let's go install. Okay, you know what? I'm very much on the brake side of things, though. These are only two hundred bucks a pop. Let's grab these because we can grab the other two on the next day that we are in town. All right, let's do that. And I, I'd rather. Okay, we're gonna have to buy these two at some point. Uh, but that's eight hundred bucks. You know, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it because we get paid this weekend. So who cares? And then we can come back on Saturday and get the good stuff. All right, that's good. That's enough parts, man. We got a lot to install right now. Let's let's get out of here, okay? We just spent, God, like seven grand on parts? Jeez. Okay, this is, this is too much. Oh, let's get this up here. Put this in here. Everything good back here? Yep. See you around, bud. Thanks. Sorry I spent all my money. Wait a minute. You probably don't care. All right, here we go. Capitalism. <laughs> Guys out here with this little tent? Capitalism. He reminds me of this guy. Where I live, at the Canadian Tire where I live, if you know Canadian Tire, it's like an auto parts home store place. You can go, we call it crappy tire. Um, oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Where's it going? Why did that do that? What? Oh, my God, all my parts flew out. And all my barrels are now all over the place. What the heck happened? Oh my god, I've probably lost half the parts. How much you want to bet? Oh god, I can't believe I stumbled that much. Okay, just let me out of the car, please. Here's one caliper. Where's the other caliper? Oh yeah, it's probably gone. Got the limited slip diff here. It's caught the edge of that bridge and sent it sailing all over the place. That's the empty can. We'll take that too, why not? How did that happen? Like, I understand that fact I hit the edge of the thing, but that much flipping from that? Are you kidding me? Okay, this is embarrassing. 100% <laughs> embarrassing. We gotta see if the other caliper's in there, because I don't see it. Um, Is it on the other side, or did we lose it completely? Is it just gone, gone? Oh, fuck. Fuck. <laughs> no, don't hit me. I'm busy. Okay, now somebody... Doesn't somebody find your lost parts for you? Isn't that somebody who does that? <sighs> okay, well... Who was that? Somebody finds your lost parts if you befriend them enough. Did we did we throw it in the water? Is that what happened? Because it's got to be around here somewhere, right? We're going to have to look around. I cannot believe I did that. Do you know what bothers me? Like I said about that, isn't the fact I hit it. That's my own fault. I can take that. But the fact that it, it tumbled 55,000 times before finally coming to a stop. Oh, there's a caliper. <laughs> okay. That, that part bothers me. That should not happen. All right, here we go. That's everything, I'm pretty sure. Except for maybe the bolts. I can't see if the bolts are still in here. Oh, yeah, there they are right there. Excellent. Okay, let's put this all in here. I don't even care anymore. I want my barrels. Don't touch my barrels. Got to get my barrels. This is this is a day. This is one of those days where it's just been a day. You flip you flip your truck. You lose all your junk. This is, this is how it works. Okay, here we go. Ugh. There's so much walking when you do stuff like this. I just, I hit that edge of that bridge because I was looking behind me. This is my own fault. This is what I get. This is distracted driving. If there's proof that distracted driving is dangerous, there it is right there. 
Stay for cell phones, people. This is what happens. You're a dang fool. Uh, you know, I actually had a buddy of mine not too long ago. Well, I guess like about a year or two ago. Who was driving. A guy I work with. and Or used to work with. And he was like, distracted driving is a little crap. They make a bigger deal about it than it is. And literally the day we had the conversation, I said, you know, you're, you're I love you, but you're an idiot. He, uh, he had an accident the next day. <laughs> because he was on his phone. <laughs> And I was just like, he didn't get hurt, and the other person he hit didn't get hurt. But he did wreck her car. His car was fixable, but hers wasn't. And uh, he's been very, very quiet about it ever since. He hasn't said much about it. But I know he feels really bad. I know him. I've known him for years. I, he feels really bad about the whole thing. Uh, this is uh, one of those things where you just... It's just one of those rules that you should just do it and shut up and stop complaining. Not everything needs to be a fight. Just do it. <laughs> Stop. It's not political. It's not personal. It's just, I want to see everybody survive to watch my videos. That's what I want. No, I'm kidding. But I don't want anybody getting hurt, man. Like getting Watching people get suffer from injuries is awful. And especially if you injure somebody else and you're responsible for it, like that's, like that's meant, from a mental health perspective, that's really hard to take. So please, just be careful when you're out there, you know, doing stuff like that. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I believe it's not a very smart idea to do. <sighs> so please don't, you know, if, you, if you think it's perfectly fine, please don't hound me in the comments. I'm not trying to tell you what to do with your life. I'm really not. I'm just saying it's, from my perspective, it looks kind of stupid. It's very preventable. All right. Perfect. Okay, so we got all these garbage parts now. Well, they're not garbage. They're probably pretty good, actually. Um, so we're going to put the beamer here up on the, the, whatever these things are, the jack stands. And we're going to do this. Perfect. Okay. Let's get it up on jack stands here. There we go. And this one on a jack stand. Perfect. This way we can just easily get everything done. So let's just bring in parts and start um, doing Okay, we don't need the fuel can right now. So we'll just toss this over here. Okay. I'm just keeping that in the car for when I need it. In case I ever run out of gas or I find a project that requires gas or something. I have a gas can on me and I don't have to go running back to get one. Let's put this here. And this caliper can go on the other side. Perfect. And this intake can go up at the front here. And the turbo can, well, you can go up to the front as well. As for the new struts, I think I'll put them on the front at first and then we'll replace the rear ones as well. Because we just have stock ones on the rear, and that's not going to do us any good, having stock rear ones and then performance front ones. So hopefully, oh yeah, and then we got the bolts, right? So let's do that, because we can get all this done when we have everything off here. And, because uh, okay, I think we have hubs as well <sighs> that require better bolts. So let's, let's get on with it. All right, let's grab this. So let's just pull this off here. Oops, don't want to do that. You got to hit right, right click, left click, right click, left click, right click, left click, right click. Okay, there we go. Tire off. Perfect. All right, so the hub bolts on this are, oh, here we go. So let's, can we just, can we just do it like this, please? Oh, I hate the sound. I think it freaks me out every time it happens. All right, let's uh, let's do that. We'll take the brake off, and then we'll take the disc off for now. And let's pop the hood so we can get underneath it here. There we go. And then we'll oh, let me see. Where's that thing? Here it is. We're gonna remove these. And uh, is that ready to come out? Okay. Oh, wait a minute, hang on. Okay. Now will it come out? It's gotta be. Oh, 
Okay, let's remove the Monte Carlo bar or strut tower brace, whatever you prefer. Um, is there something under here that I'm missing? I don't think that's holding it in. Um, see, it looks 100% disconnected from my... Oh, maybe I got to remove this. I bet you I got to remove the hub here, even though it doesn't look like it's connected. Let's remove this, and then that. There we go. Okay, here's here's the strut. All right, so this is a an OEM strut or shock, I guess. I'll put this in here like this. Put the the hub just just went back on like that. Okay. Put that back in. All right, take this. Yeah, I didn't think I had to remove that thing, but. It's good. It's probably good I did. Wait a minute. Was that correct? I don't even know anymore at this point. All right, let's see. Put this. Oh, no, I don't put that on. I want to put the wheel bearing back on. I want to put this back on. I probably have to tighten some crap down, I'm assuming. Oh, wait a minute. Did I, did I put the... That wasn't right, was it? Oh, this is the right side. Whoops. I I, put, I just put them on the wrong side here. Hang on a second. This was just my own mistake. Perfect. Okay, this is just, just had them on the wrong side. My own bad. All right, here we go. Put that on there. And that in there. And then we'll tighten those down. I wish you could just drop this on the ground. This would be nice. Instead of it disappearing away every time. There we go. Front brakes, front performance strut. Um, oh, yeah. We'll put the strut tower bar on here. And that can be. Is this 12 mils that hold this? Oh, yeah, there it is. Now, what am I. This 20 millimeter bolt is in really good shape. All right, put this tire back on and all five of these can go back in. Okay, there's a, there's a bolt from somewhere. Where does it go? Oh, crap. What is this from? I really got to get underneath it. That's that's really what I got to do. Take a look. All right, let's see. What did I miss? I, I you know this is good. I double checked this. Okay, what am I what am I missing here? Oh, there it is. Just the bottom of the me and tie rods, eh? <laughs> in video games, it's so much weird. Like in real life, I would never miss something like that. That's in, and then we can tighten everything else up here. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Perfect. Okay. Now we can go to the other side. Come up. You I need. All right. Let's go. All right. There we go. Okay. This isn't in the way. Okay. Here we go. Take this out. What is... Oh, that's from the strut tower brace. That's what those three are from. Tire and come off. Uh, I need this again. I need to take these off. And this brake can come off, and this rotor can come off, and then we got to remove the hub, right? Oh, crap. I hit the wrong button. Come here, you. All right, here we go. And then... 
left click that out. All right, so let's take this off. Okay. We'll take out the bottom of the strut. It says shock absorber, but that's definitely 100% a strut. All right, I'll put the fancy one in. Oh, did I just adjust that? We better check the other one. To make sure it's adjusted the same, because if we misadjust them, then it's going to be like riding funny. Now, I'm not super worried about ride height. The vehicle doesn't sit that weird, so... Where's that one going? Was that the bottom uh, tie rod end bolt? Perfect. Okay, so let's... Uh, what do we got? We got the hub. Okay, put this on. And then we'll put on our good caliper. And then two go in the caliper. Sometimes I think the wrench is faster because you don't have to run back and forth for it. All right, let's see. That can go on. All right. And then uh, uh, the wheel can go on. Now, where did I put? Oh, there's the big hub bolt right there. All right, excellent. Here we go. Three, four, and five. And that leaves us three for the strut tower brace. Let's put the hub bolt in. And then this, 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 and this. And now we can put the strut tower brace back in. Because I don't believe we need to worry about it to get... Uh, there we go. All right, so let's put that on. Are these on this side? Those are on this side. Nice. Yeah, we also want to check the uh, the height adjustment on that that on that there. Let's see what do we got here. This is twenty six to twenty seven. So let's put it down to let's put it down to twenty up front. We'll do the rear ones too when we get to that. Let's put this. Wait a minute. Is this twenty and twenty? Wasn't there a second? Wasn't these aren't these two-way adjustable? Is that isn't that what I'm looking at here? I just want to double check this here. Is there, are these two-way adjustable? Okay, oh, here we go. Look, oh here we go. Rebound force, camber adjust, twenty-five and twenty-five. Bump force, okay. Well, that was the camber on there. Okay, so let's see here. Why can't I see this side of it? Let's put it up. Let's like really jack it in for height. What do we got this? 20 and 20. Just for now. I like a little softer uh, rebound, uh, like spring force. I like a little more dive. You know, that's kind of a, I know that's counterintuitive to say, but I prefer a little dive to my, my cars than not. Cause it keeps you safe. It keeps you from doing stupid crap. All right. So there's that. That's, those are just the same. At least we can always fine tune it later. That's not, that's not a hard part. All right. So let's get this up and over out. All right. So now comes the fun part of removing. I know what I totally forgot. There it is. The air box. I totally forgot last time. So let's, um, Let's get rid of the intake manifold first. That's an intake manifold. Okay, is it how many how many are in there? I don't remember. I can't really see how many. I'm assuming it's more than 2. Let's put it that way. Or is it because the Okay, what do we? Something is in the way here. 
Oh, you know what? I'm going to remove this because this is just always in the way. <laughs> this is the, these, these bars are always in the way. Are you doing anything in an engine nowadays and it's got a strut tower brace? It's just always in the way. So let's just remove that right off the bat. We'll get that out of the way. It's easy to put back on. What am I missing here? There's got to be a lower bolt or something I'm totally 100% missing because I got the two out there. Because I need to get those on. I need to put this one on. But we can remove the exhaust manifold as well. I wish I could see it. Oh yeah, I got to take it off the, the exhaust pipe as well. Right, this can come off. That can go on there, and then we can re put this on. That's the only four that holds that on, as far as I know, I think, and then the two at the back for the exhaust. And then that's on, I think. All right, let's grab this. We may have to go into the car to get those exhaust bolts. I, th I think that got him, actually. Where's my... Creepy crawler thing. Okay, let's take a look underneath here. Oh, yeah, we got them in there. All right, so that's cool. So these, all those are on there. What are we missing from the intake? There it is. I see it. All right, let's get that out. All right, let's get up here. This can leave, and then we got... The turbo intake manifold. Is this like an air-to-air -air intercooler, or I'm assuming air-to-water, maybe? I don't know. And that should be all three of those, I think. Well, we'll know when we if we have any bolts left over. <laughs> That's how we're going to know. Perfect. All right, so we got one bolt left over from something. What bolt is this from? Wait a minute. No, that's the um, Monte Carlo bar. So there's the inner. Now what holds the intercooler in? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Is this. Looks like we're going to need a couple 12 mil bolts for that. Do we even have 12 mil bolts anymore? Like I think we had some in here. Geez, we're running a bit low on 12 mil bolts. We may have to buy some of those colored ones just so we have like the appropriate the appropriate amount. You know what I'll do is I'll get back on here. <sighs> and we will just use these because they're just here. And then uh, is there anywhere else that this what? Okay, that's fine. Give me this. I need this right now. Give me this. Okay. Get this. All right, here we go. That should hold that in. Is there any other bolts that hold that in, maybe? I don't see any other ones, but that doesn't mean anything with me. <laughs> so, let's um check it from the top. Eh. Is there any bolts that go like in the, the top? Better? Let's see, where where can I, is there a bolt laying around? Here we go. I'm not seeing, 
Well, there's that, obviously, because they got to put the Monte Carlo bar back in. But I think the intercooler's in. Um, all right, let's put the Monte Carlo bar back on. And then, or again, strut tower brace. It really depends what generation you are, what you call those. Now, there'll be somebody in the comments automatically who's going to argue, well, it's only a Monte Carlo bar if it's this and that and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't care. You know, like just the way us car guys are, we just call certain things certain. You know what? I never, like I said the other day in one of my videos, I never heard somebody call it a front window before. I've heard front windshield plenty of times, but never front window, but that doesn't stop people from using it. All right, here we go. And you can go down, you can go down. We need one more bolt. Let's go grab that. Or do we have one? I thought we had one over here. But it looks like we're running very low on bolts. And I think we need, like, we have one bolt left. And to be honest, if we're running on appropriate intake, what's it this side? This side. This would be a problem. Uh, because we'd be exactly out of bolts at this point. So we got that on. That's all tightened down. Okay. Did we buy anything else that we need to put on? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. We did. Give me that back. I need you. And let's pull this out. Because somebody really, really hated this. We're going to... Where's my... There it is. Okay. Boom. And then we're going to grab this. Grab that. Oh, I thought... It was a 12 mil. I thought it was a bigger one than that. Oh, well, you know what? I thought it was the big one. Well, let's just put this back in like this. Done. Okay, well, we, we've got some fancy bolts. They're just the wrong size. Um, So these are 12 mil bolts. Apparently. So we'll leave these here for now. Until we can find other ones, and then we'll start replacing crabby bolts as time goes on. All right, so this thing's ready to go. Do you want to take it for a rip? Is it? Oh, it's getting late in the day. Let's go take it for a rip before we run out of maple syrup and poutine and whatever. I think we need clear coat for this door because something's wrong with this. <laughs> Look at my front end. Look how low. Oh, jeez. What happened? Because I have adjustable struts. Look at this. Look at the front end. It's like all raked forward like a fool. Oh, God, look at that. That's great. Okay, let me see. The front end's lowered. The back end's up. It looks like some sort of like, oh, God, this is horrific. This is horrific. Are the other ones adjustable at height, or is it just... Because if we're going to slam it, we should really slam it on, on all the sides. There. This is too low, to be honest. Um. No, I can't. I can't adjust those. So these need to come back up a bit. Let's get these up. So what are we at ride height wise? Um, not spring force ride height. We need to get this back up probably about 25 just to even this out until we get it all done. There we go. Let's try that. Let's take a look. Okay. Is that a little better? Yeah, it's not great, but it'll do. All right. So let's uh, see what she does. Nice. Need to be in reverse. What are we in? Reverse? Okay, there's... Hear the, hear the blow-off? Oh, fisha, fisha. Didn't we get a boost gauge, too? And I forgot it somewhere. Doesn't matter. Yeah, we definitely need to do something about the turbo blow-off. But other than that... It's, it's nice. It's got a little more power in second gear. Still a little bit of a dog in second gear, to be honest. I think the blow-off valve's kicking in too much, too fast. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, here we go. Hang on a sec. Let's check this out. Where is it? Let's see, turbo wastegate. Let's put it up to. <sighs> Let's put it up to 16. I'm not sure what the internals on this engine will handle. Like most cars hit about like stock cars, you're safe up to about nine, 
seven to nine, ten pounds of boost. And then you want to start thinking about being real careful with it, but... Yeah, we're not building enough boost here. That's that's way too too aggressive a boost curve. Okay, so that could use some work. We can readjust that. Let's see here. It's um Oh, no wonder the brake was on. Well, we're doing it now. Okay, here we go. I had the brake on again. I always do the bar parking brake. Yeah, that's... uh. Yeah, when the turbo kicks in, it is, it is pretty brutal. <laughs> so I'm going to leave this episode here because this has been a long one, boys. I apologize. Um... Oh god, we can't make this turn. And it's a little ill handling because of the difference in shuts. Jesus, struts and shocks. Oh, maple syrup's getting pretty desperate too. So I'm going to leave this here. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment, maybe subscribe. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Um, she's real aggressive right now. I think I may have to fix that problem. Uh, and, you know, get your dog to subscribe and your horse. I'm going to put the limited slip diff in. That's the problem. I guess we'll do that in the next episode. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat! Forgot to put the differential in. This is lame, but I'm all out of energy at Purple Circle. Out!